and we have in and ends Gabriela Gonzalez uh, over in Wheeling to cover it all. Now, Gabriela, what was out going on out there as the numbers came in? Well, Ward, let me tell you, there was definitely some tension in that room. People were on their toes. Now, there, it had been a pretty close campaign period, and it all came down to this. People at the party said that they knew it would be a big win if Republicans took President Obama's old Senate seat. The red, white, and blue balloons in place, and the bar stopped. Mark Kirk's election party wasn't routine. Kirk supporters say they felt the kind of energy Republicans lacked in 2008. I, I think we're going to do good, and I feel good. It's very exciting. I've, especially after, you know, feeling the way I did two years ago. This is really different. I mean, this, this is the big state. This is Obama's state. And I feel like there's a spark. Eyes glued to the TV screens throughout the ballroom. Many watched the numbers roll in from across Illinois and around the country. Oh, oh. Their emotions rising and falling along with every update on the results. While state after state turned red, Illinois stayed a neutral gray. Kirk and Democratic opponent Alexi Janulius remained locked in a virtual tie. A little more stressful, but if it was easy, it wouldn't be fun. You know, it's, it's, it's hardball. Hours after the polls had been neck and neck, the news that everyone was waiting for was finally announced. And here in Wheeling, there were plenty of victory prints to go around. Now, Senator-elect Mark Kirk says that this election, as well as many throughout the country, sent a powerful message to Washington, D.C. that it's time for a new direction. A tsunami just hit the heartland. People of Illinois have spoken, and your vote was heard around the world. During his speech, Kirk talked about Illinois' culture of political corruption. But now he said the state finally belongs to the people once again. I feel happy we've got a Republican who thinks about people, who thinks about the long-term future of America. Kirk's win also means that he will finish out the current unexpired Senate term. He says he's ready to be sworn in as soon as possible. And as for his supporters, well, they're ready for that too. Now, if you remember, there were plenty of attack ads during the campaign season and strong support for Janulius from President Obama, who even made an appearance in Chicago last Saturday. Yet the president did admit in a press conference this morning that he may be to blame for the national Republican victory. Well, it sounds like Mr. Obama might regret some of those campaign moves. Thank you, Gabby.